नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एल टी स्पाइस सिमुलेशन इन दिस व्हाट वील डू इज विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज पी डब्ल्यू एल सोर्सेज ओके बेसिकली इट इज लाइक यूज आर डिफाइंड सोर्सेज सो वी हैव लॉट ऑफ सोर्सेज लेट्स से वी हैव वोल्टेज सोर्स करंट सोर्स एंड दे आर डिफरेंट वेब फॉर्म्स वेर देर लाइक इट कैन बी पल्स वेब और इट कैन बी ए डी सी वोल्टेज और इट कैन बी साइनस वाइडल सोर्सेज बट वाट इफ देर आर डिफरेंट रिक्वायरमेंट्स लाइक इट वी नीड ट्रैंगुलर सोर्स और वी नीड सम अदर काइंड ऑफ ए स्टेप्स और समथिंग ओके सो इन दिस इट बिकम्स वेरी नेसेसरी दैट वी कैन बी एबल टू डिफाइन आवर ओन स्टेप साइज और आवर ओन टाइमिंग एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर वोल्टेज लेबल्स ओके सो विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन डिफाइन आवर यूजर डिफाइंड सोर्सेज इन दिस सेशन so there will be uh, two kinds of pwm so pwl sources that is also called as piece wise linear uh, source and simulations so we will try to understand pwl source then we will repeat them for a particular number of time let us say 5 times or let's say 20 times or let's say 100 times okay or 1000 times and then we will try to uh, have also one understanding how we can repeat the same source forever like it can be infinite times whether it can be you know like a triangular source or something like that and you can see what is the timing that you want and what is the voltage level at that particular timing that you want okay <coughs> one more advantage of this particular pws source type is we can have our own file like let's say excel file or dot txt file or dot csv file these files are generally generated from our oscilloscopes so let's say you have some noise labels or you have some noise signals or you have uh, some the sources that has been generated from oscilloscopes and the same source you want to import into your lts pi simulation or maybe you have some function generator which which have generated some kind of special sources and that can be also exported into dot csv format or dot txt format and those sources can be taken into account in your lts pi simulation right so let's quickly understand how what is the command that we we should do so very simple one if you see the first one let us say we have a source which is defined as v2 so we can have pwl file and this is the source that we will be defining so i'll just explain you like how these all you know like parameters will be defined another will be with repeat like we, you want to repeat for let's say 5 times or 10 times you can write down the command like pwm repeat for 5 okay or repeat for 10 and then at last you have to end the statement with end that's all if you talk about repeat for ever then what will happen repeat for ever and then in repeat so only one waveform let us say you have defined let's say you have defined like this okay that's all so this same thing can be repeated five times or can be repeated for ever <coughs> understood similarly uh let us say we want to have a pwl file from you know like uh, and we want to define from that then we can have pwl stimulus dot txt so this is nothing but the name of the file that we have put okay you can put any uh, name for your file that doesn't matter but what will happen is we have to write down a command file is equal to that particular uh, file so that will understand later our aim is to main basic understanding of pwl source and then we'll see how it works out okay so let's open lts spice so as you can see you have a very simple circuit and you had a, a defined source which was pulse wave and this is the output that was coming up let's say we have v input which is this v input uh, 3 volt and minus 3 volt which is pulse source and we have v output according to that <coughs> but what if we need you know like triangular wave or something like that so what we'll do is we'll just open a new circuit and we'll try to understand how to work with that i'll just uh, cut that okay so let us say take a voltage source we'll put one ground here and just wire it up and take a net name okay so we'll take let's say out <coughs> so we'll see uh, what is the value that is coming at the out now our aim is to uh, define one source based on our understanding so similar to that earlier uh, whatever i have taught you so right click here you will get a advanced okay function you don't do some dc value it, if you want dc value like 5 volt then you can just put 5 and then go ahead okay otherwise go to advanced as you can see here 
we have a pulse wave that we have already seen the uh, you know like parameters how to set the values and everything so that we can have proper time period and pro proper frequency similar to that we had sine wave and other things also we'll see now we'll talk about this pwl okay so click this on pwl you can see there are different time steps and there are different values of voltages okay so in that what we'll do is let us say I want to start with uh, first time step let's say 10 millisecond or up to 10 millisecond it will be 0 so I'll just put 0 0.01 that is 10 millisecond right I am putting into second okay you can put down 10 m also that is for millisecond value let's say 0 so I want the the waveform to be 0 for 10 millisecond first 10 millisecond okay let us say I want to go ahead with uh, 0 0.025 <coughs> that is 25 millisecond my value should become let us say 3 volt and then this 3 volt should repeat up to let us say 40 millisecond so 0 0.040 okay <coughs> I'll just put here 0 so it will be uh, you know like uh, uniform now till 40 millisecond it should continue same 3 volts so we will have kind of like little bit a square wave kind of thing okay and then at time 4 or you know like a time let's say 50 millisecond we want to come back to 0 okay so 50 millisecond we want to come back to 0 so this is our you know like if you want additional points you can also add additional points so you can have very random methods of having PWL source so this is the source that we have defined now let's run it so it is again asking let's say transient response we want to stop this uh, let us say 100 millisecond <coughs> because 50 millisecond we have already defined and let's say start saving data from zero you want you can put maximum time step let us say uh, 1 millisecond or 0.5 millisecond whatever but but it, it's good like don't know need to put anything I'll just keep it right side as you can see uh, whatever the source that we had defined first 10 millisecond it was zero it is reaching to uh, 3 <coughs> volt at 25 millisecond and at 40 millisecond it is coming back to uh, you know like uh, reaching to uh, continuing to 3 volt and then it is reaching back to 50 uh, millisecond it is becoming 0 ok so this is what uh, we wanted to do <coughs> so hope you have now a very good understanding about how to define your PWM source on your own ok so it is very simple like it is just a graph that you have to manage like you put down your own graph into your uh, you know like a notebook and then try to mini uh, simplify the same way let's let's do some more changes uh, I, I don't want like this I want let us say a uh, 2 volt okay and then let let it be 3 volts it will get a step okay so you will just see a little change see it has become 3 volt uh, sorry it has become 2 volt here and then it has gone 3 volt so what we could have done is we could have stayed little and then we could have reached so what shall we do here uh, 2 volt I want it for let us say 30 millisecond okay <coughs> and then it should go uh, you know like uh, 3 millisecond at uh, 3 volt at 40 millisecond okay <coughs> and then we can additional point one more we will put let us say 0 0.050 so let us say it should continue 2 volt and then it should continue to 3 volt and then it should come back to 0 okay now uh, it will continue little more and then it will go to 3 and then again come back to 0 so this is what we have defined so you can see there is a step and then it has gone down if you want to continue here also you can add additional point and this is what the main understanding about this particular PWL file is now let us make very simple I'll just come back to the previous stage uh, I'll just keep it uh, simple okay let's do another sourcing what we will do is we'll try to repeat the same source for five times okay so for that purpose what we can do you can come back on this right click it so you will see we have uh, this particular window that is open okay right click it and then you can have here so just give a space here and write it down repeat repeat for five okay so I want to repeat this for uh, let us say five times okay and then give a gap here 
like a space bar and then at last give one space and in repeat so basically you have a repeat statement and then in repeat statement so you are going to have this particular understanding you can see pwl file repeat for five times and in repeat so this will get repeated five times let's run it what is the thing that you are seeing only two times why because we have run it for only 100 millisecond since it is 50 milliseconds so for five times it will go around 250 milliseconds so why don't we configure the analysis and run this source for let us say uh, 300 millisecond okay so we have now run it for 300 millisecond you can see there are one two three four five and then it has gone zero automatically okay let's run it forever like we don't want to run it for uh, just uh, you know like a, a specific number of times we want to run it for uh, forever so what we will do right click it and repeat forever okay and then in repeat so it will repeat forever that that this particular web form will be repeated forever so run it it is repeating forever what we do is uh, why don't we configure the analysis for little longer time so let us say we want to run it for 600 millisecond so for 600 millisecond it will repeat around 1200 12 pulses or something so you can see it is keep on happening there is no end to this okay so let's let's do one more thing uh, since we have already pulse kind of sources and we have given little bit uh, rise time and fall time here but we'll do little bit different what we want to do is uh, whenever we have simulated our diode circuit or something like that in that case the problem was we were not finding any triangular sources so let us say this is the triangular source we want to get from this pwm uh, pwl source okay so what we can do is we can have zero then one at one millisecond three volt then again minus three volt and then again uh, at four millisecond go to zero so like that we can define <coughs> okay so let's do this particular source here and then it will be over this particular session can be over So what we can do is uh, we can come out here. Let's uh, right click it and then what shall we do? Or we'll take a new file. We'll cut this off. Voltage source. We'll take ground. We'll wire it up. Put a name of v out that's all done now what was the first step right click it write down go to advanced then click on pwl our aim is to define all the data points for the triangular wave right so we'll take at zero millisecond we'll have uh, let us say zero then at let's say one millisecond i want to have uh, let us say three volt and at 2 millisecond it was 0 but I will go 3 milliseconds so 3 millisecond I have minus 3 volt okay and then at 4 millisecond I will have to go to 0 so this is how a complete source can come up okay now let's run it uh, configure it for uh, 20 millisecond let us say and then start saving data from a starting point okay that is 0 and let's run it what happens we will see what is happening We'll click it on right side <clears throat> so as you can see uh, we have 0 then it is going to 3 volt at if you if you try to elongate this little okay what is happening it is 0 then it is going to 3 volt then it is going to minus 3 volt at you know like uh, around 3 millisecond and then at 4 millisecond it should go to 0 right so it is not able to go zero we'll see what is happening okay all right it, it's very simple actually it is not millisecond written here four millisecond it should have been but it is not written here so what we'll do is we'll go here four not it is four second it is taking so till four second it is going to zero so i'll just put it four m okay and then it should go to zero okay so what will happen let's run it as you can see we have the triangular source like this and it is going to 
uh, 4 millisecond it is going to 0 that's all so you have your triangular source defined by yourself that's all this was the mistake that we were making now what was the thing that we wanted to do for repeating it so just right click it and repeat it repeat forever okay I'll just give a gap here and then last in repeat that's all done so it will keep on repeating our triangular source so this is the way you have actually made your uh, source to be triangular by your own definition and you, do, you are not going to bother about at all so why don't we do one last step that we wanted to do with this PWM source is we wanted to run our diode circuit and we'll see the output that is going to come up at the output stage okay so let's quickly put down one diode and one resistor and let's uh, completely uh, you know like quickly put this circuit <coughs> okay let's name this as V in because it is my input voltage and let's name this node as V out the output node okay will be this one will keep resistor value to be let us say 1 kilo ohm let's move this source little bit down so that you can have proper understanding like what is my PWL source okay good so this is our complete circuit that you can see if you want you can uh, stretch it and move it little left side so you press a stair S, S and then you will be able to move it like this press a stair S and you will be able to uh, stretch it without getting disconnected <coughs> now let's run it so uh, this V out is actually coming like this we'll see first let us say V in so V in is our triangular source as defined just now right so you can see 0 to 4 millisecond is one pulse again uh, 4 to 8 millisecond is another pulse like that it is coming up okay so minus 3 volt to 3 volt it is coming now let's say what is the V out so what will happen till 0 to my 2 millisecond it will be high and after that it will get clipped off because 0 to uh, sorry this 2 millisecond to 4 millisecond the waveform is down that is negative and in that negative time the diode will not be working okay so you can see uh, you have very good uh, waveform which is going to be clipped from downwards so you can try out with different diode circuits with the same source and th since the triangular source was not available that's the only reason I wanted to uh, repeat this particular you know like PWL source so that you can have this handy for your any kind of circuit design so hope now you have a very good understanding about this PWL source definition and how to uh, you know like put your own points based on your particular graphs you can define any of you know like uh, different kind of sources based on your requirement so your uh, your job is what you have to do is you have to define one source like this okay and then come back to me as a you know like query or something like that if you are not able to define this so your aim is to take out 0 1 you know like 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and this is 9 so 9 millisecond time you have to take and define these voltage sources this will be your 2 volt and this will be your 3 volt and do the same thing you have to do it for repeat for 5 times and then repeat forever So it is it is very good practice to do the same you know like uh, 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 <coughs> practice and try to define your own sources again and again so that you have a very good understanding about how to define your PWL sources very easily. Thank you so much guys. Bye.